So I just graduated and I um, realized that to live the life that I want to live, I need to get rid of most of my stuff, stuff that I've just been so unsure of for years. You know, when you, you go through, you clean your house or your room or whatever, and you find a bunch of things that... You can't quite get rid of, you have some emotional tie to, so I'll just put it in a box. I'll just put it in the closet. I did that for years. Till I came to this realization when I graduated that holy shit, like my whole life just changed. I can do whatever I want, I can go wherever I want. And I have been playing guitar since I was 13. I collected guitars, and they're all pretty much shitty guitars. Being a young person, I didn't really, well I am young, but at the time I didn't realize that quality over quantity. So yesterday I took one of my, actually a pretty nice guitar, but I just never played it. And then an acoustic that uh, got me $25, so, uh, and an amplifier that was just massive, huge, took up so much space. I bought it when I was in a metal band so uh, I could project uh, into a crowd when I played live. I didn't really think about the fact that you can have a nice amplifier, mic it, and run all your effects through it that way. But anyways, so what I did was I brought in that stuff that I didn't want, uh, and many other things, a bunch of DVDs. Seriously, if you have a bunch of movies and games and DVDs that you don't use or want, bring them to a uh, pawn shop. Bring them to pawn shop. I was like, there's no way I'm going to get any money for this stuff. 20 bucks! GameCube games! Who wants GameCube games? Holy shit, 20 bucks. So, all that shit that you have laying around that you don't want, you can sell it and use the money to get stuff that you really want. So I brought in my guitars and my old amp and I traded them, trying to get a good shot here, traded them in for this bad boy. I had to pay a little bit more. But he gave me a good deal on it. It's a Dan Electro Corporal 132 is the model. All tube, two speakers, 1960. I am the second owner of this baby. Second owner since 1960. Guy says that an old guy brought it in with a really spendy Gibson a couple months back. And I am apparently second owner. I wish there was some kind of paperwork. They could say that, that'd be awesome. But for now, it's just kind of a cool little thing to have, and it sounds awesome. You can hear when I was playing, there, there's just a tone knob and a volume knob, and there's three spots for instruments. On, off switch, fuse, all two. Really simple, awesome. I don't even have to run any effects through it, and I love it. I might get a uh, echo. Or a delay pedal. Maybe a muff or something. Nothing that'll blow it out though. Alright. So, second owner from 1960s. Awesome. You could hear when I start banging on the chords a little bit harder. Uh, the natural distortion comes out. The tube warmth. When the tubes warm up, it gets a different sound. I've never had a tube amp before, so this is amazing. It's really got that. Neil Young kind of rock and roll sound that I've always wanted and it's amazing. It's really warm. Um, it's really a beautiful amp. So that's my idea for you for today. My kind of living tip. Get rid of the stuff you don't want because you can downsize into something that you actually will use. Something 
of high quality that you actually want. Uh, you can apply this to your food as well. Go vegan.